Harry approached four-year-old Eliza Morris as he greeted royal well-wishers with Meghan Markle this morning. The prince saw the youngster's sign which read, Gingers unite I love you Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex traveled to Merseyside for a day of royal engagements. Harry and Meghan visited organizations that support and empower groups in the community. Royal fans were delighted to see Meghan and Harry out together in public again following their last joint appearance on Christmas Day. Huge crowd gathered in Hamilton Square to catch a glimpse of the pair. Meghan was presented with flowers and one fan even gave the Duke and Duchess a giant teddy bear. The 37-year-old showed off her growing bump in an eye-catching purple dress from Aritzia's Bobbiton collection and a red coat by Centeller. The US-born former actress accessorized with her trademark stilettos and a brown handbag. Meghan held a loving hand on her bump as she stepped out with Harry. Before the walkabout, the couple visited a sculpture which was erected in November to mark the 100th anniversary of war poet Wilfred Owen's death. Meghan and Harry unveiled a plaque and met local veterans and members of the Birkenhead Institute Old Boys. The couple went on to visit Number 7, a community cafe and supermarket. Harry and Meghan's third engagement was to Tomorrow's Women World, an organization which supports women in vulnerable circumstances. Their final regular visit of the day was to the Hive Rural Youth Zone, a purpose-built facility for young people in the area. Royal followers will not have to wait for long for the couple's next joint engagement. On Wednesday night, Meghan and Harry will attend the premiere of Cirque du Soleil's Totem at the Royal Albert Hall. The event will be in aid of Harry's charity Centivale, which works to help children affected by HIV in Lesotho and Botswana. Meghan also has a solo engagement on Wednesday to animal charity Mayhew, one of her four new royal patronages, 